in the dinosaurs and mammals we will be discussing about the apes and humans so we have discussed that apes were ancestors of the human the apes spread out from africa into middle east asia southern europe by the mid miocene and give rise to some of the modern ape group at that time so there was some uh, geographical distribution of apes and some of those apes were living in further apart and gave rise to the new species or group of species and new clades which we will be discussing and that one of those clades gave rise to the humans as well but the gibbons of southeast asia are the most primitive living uh, apes that means they diverged in the earliest period and having a branched off 25 to 20 million years ago so they parted their ways uh, 25 to 20 million years ago and followed by the orangutans which were uh, 20 to 15 million years ago and the focus of ape and human evolution remained in africa so the orangutan and the gibbons of southeast asia uh, they were you know diverse they were living differently and they didn't give rise to the human and they are sharing very distant a distant ancestor with the humans and all the ape or human evolution that happened was in the continent of africa so here you can see the phylogeny of apes uh, hominidae which are the uh, human like organisms so first of all the gibbons and orangutan gibbons of southeast asia in the earliest uh, 15 uh, 25 to 20 million years ago the during the miocene they parted their ways and gone to the southeast asia orangutan followed their way and then there comes the uh, gorilla and chimpanzee and to the humans we will be discussing that the gorilla and chimpanzee they are much more closer relative of humans as compared to the orangutan and gibbons as you can see from this phylogenetic tree as well the grill, uh, gorillas and chimpanzees these are relatives of humans and uh, appear to be very closely related with the humans and they share many anatomic structures that means they are internal structures of their body they are pretty much similar to the humans and uh, more than 94% of their dna are identical i not similar identical that means they are sharing more than 94% of their dna with the humans and gorilla seems to have diverged first that is 10 million years and ago and the uh, ancestors of humans and chimps separated about 8 to 6 so that means the gorillas are distant than the chimps and that you can see from this uh, again that phylogenetic tree is that chimpanzees are much more closer to the humans as compared to the gorillas so humans are set apart by the uh, from other primates by their larger brain and their bipedalism that is walking upright so the up their these apes the humans are walking on their two feet and that function is called bipedalism bipedalism came first than intelligence so some how we can think that okay they started were walking right up that means they were becoming intelligent the bipedalism which uh, was much more adaptation to the climatic change in the africa uh, and the intelligence came later it was you know the intelligent of these bipedal organisms or the our ancestors that was similar to the earlier orangutans or, or the chimpanzees uh, ancestors so climatic accident in africa so in the late miocene the climate became arid uh, first it was the lush green forest all of over the africa but in the miocene what happened that the there was african rift east african rift valley which separated the that lush green forest from the eastern part which was becoming a grassland and separating the forest in the west from the arid grasslands in the east arid grasslands means that these grasslands were dependent only on the uh, rainfall for their uh, plant growth but the lush green forest either they were uh, the tropical rain forest or they having some uh subtropical uh, areas with the rivers flowing in it for example we could see the river niger uh, flowing on the western part of the africa even today so the climatic accident in africa resulted that the tree living apes which are chimps and gorillas 
retreated west so they have gone to the lush green forest where they can climb the trees or they adapted themselves to climb the trees more and more and the remaining apes our ancestors remained in the eastern glass, grasslands so the grasslands do not have any trees they don't have any use of uh, climbing shoulders or they can have a good use of their bipedalism that means they can work uh, walk upright and they can look for more and more predators when they are walking upright instead of when they are walking on all four and they you know they have sort of an advantage the organism who are having uh, uh, work walking biped uh, a bipedalism who have bipedalism they can walk upright and they can look for more predators and hence they have some adaptability to survive in that grassland environment so these apes were able to survive and later they gave rise to the humans and we will be continuing with this topic